yes, and as things stand, Denmark would go through to heat number 22. Works up with the deciding heat. Denmark could well finish third here now, and that will mean that they will go straight through to the final race to decide who joins the top two. Good clash this between Russia and Germany. Germany has been a surprise. I was expecting them to qualify, but not at the top two. They have ridden beautifully together. These two teams have done the business. Smolenski's off the inside. The Gooch rock two. Hukenbeck on three. And uh, it is Hukenbeck. Oh, no, he's missed the start. Lagutra's has made a good one. Now, here comes Lagutra around the outside of Smolenski. Saifukinov down the back straight. The wheel to wheel as things stand. Saifukinov now locks up and Germany are on a three all. Running out of room. The man in red is Kai Hukenbeck. And Saifukinov is through. This would be a 4 2 to the Russians who would finish on 24 points tonight. Germany would finish on 21. And it would be Team Russia winning race off one of the Monster Energy FIM Speedway of Nations. Saifukinov coming on strong in third place. Russia really beginning to show their um, uh, class here. Saifutinov with Emil Saifutinov. It's like putting a ball. Brilliant nice move, move from him to get the better of Smolenski up the inside. This could be consecutive five ones for the Russian team and really showing their class here late on in the night. Martin Lugutra has been outstanding. Saifutinov has ridden brilliantly, brilliantly to get to second place. Yeah, 25 to oh. Russia. 25 points. To Russia, 20 to Germany as Huckenbeck goes down late on. It's okay. He's it's okay. Up. Yeah. Smolenski in third place. Great stuff from Russia. They clinch it in fine style. Two five ones to complete the night for them. They're through comfortably in the end, fully deservedly, and a lot of people fancy them to go all the way in Vlotslav over two days at the end of next week. Russia looking good. Germany through as well. Great work from both those two teams.